Foy. I'm the district superintendent. Uh, thanks for joining us. And I want to let everyone know out there that on the site, if you uh, make comments on there, we can quickly see those. And we hope to respond to any questions you might have through this. Uh, and I want to introduce my first ever guests and thank them for their mm -hmm. willingness to be with me tonight. It's uh, a little intimidating perhaps <laughs> to do this, but they're good sports. Uh, first, I want to introduce uh, Nancy Resack. Nancy is one of the co-principals at the Harvard Junior High, and Maura Bridges, a uh, co-principal at the Junior High also. They are the uh, the Tag Team Wonders, as I call them. They are uh, really have been great uh, over the two years they've been at Harvard Junior High. And the reason we're here today is to talk about an initiative they have that I'm really excited about. And uh, as we were talking about this, the question was, well, how do we know that everyone knows about this? And so. Uh, I've been wanting to do this uh, as a way to connect to the community because one of our strategic goals for the whole district is to uh, connect with every possible way through the community we can on those topics that matter most. And you, you've seen our visit videos and you get the, the Facebook stuff and we know a lot of people do follow us and we get a lot of information out on Facebook. So we thought let's do a Facebook Live for this topic and so I asked uh, my two friends here to join me as guinea pigs uh, to do this. So what we're going to talk about today is the 8th grade success contract and that also can be found on our website. So after uh, this, if you see some more information, uh, don't be afraid to look it up and, uh, and contact you guys. Would that be all right? If, uh, Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, that, that's good. And so I guess to give us a little background, and we're going to uh, talk about this, um, before we get into the real details, uh, this is kind of something new for Harvard Junior High, yes, right? It is. And so, kind of wondering how did this come to be, or what was the thought process on staff to create a, a contract for our eighth graders? And just to clarify, this is for eighth grade students, this not is for, for eighth not for grade, sixth and seventh grade. grade. Okay. Well, first of all, we want to thank uh, the school board and and you, Dr. Tafoya, for more and my opportunity to work and be part of the junior high community. Mm -hmm. It has been an absolute honor for the past year and a half. And in having conversations with eighth grade teachers and uh, parents and students and looking at our report card data, um, we came to realize that we have some students that need uh, more support than others um, and that we need to ha have a very clear defined level of expectations for learning and, and, and their responsibility to be part of that learning. So that's how the contract for success came to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that responsibility element, um, these are eighth graders, so mm -hmm. we're almost in high school and trying to make that transition is really important. And I think one of those concepts that uh, as a former high school principal, I remember always trying to explain to ninth graders, these credits matter and the responsibility. So mm -hmm. um, it's, like we said, the contract is actually on the website. So if you want to see a, con a contract, uh, mm -hmm. a copy of it. Mm -hmm. But more, why don't you tell us a little bit about what's in the contract? Um, what are the different elements? How do I track myself? And just mm -hmm. take us through what it's all about. Okay. Well, there's three components to it. Um, academics, behavior, and attendance. Those are the three uh, pieces that we feel like really help a student to be successful in school. And pr the biggest point values come from the academic piece of it because that is what kids are doing day in and day out and the behavior and the attendance really impacts those things so we used all of that information put together a point system to help kids see themselves progressing through their eighth grade year and getting ready for that step into high school and helping them understand what that's like to earn points towards. Okay, so it's encouraging the positive mm -hmm. and rewarding mm -hmm. for those things that happen mm -hmm. in part of the PBS program, mm -hmm. I would assume. Mm -hmm. um, so again, those points were your academics, your attendance, yes. and your behavior. Yes. Correct. So every time, maybe just a couple examples of like, how do we quantify this? How do we make this numerical for, for academics? Because as you said, academics is the most heavily weighted mm -hmm. one. How do I earn points um, okay. in that area? So for, if, for example, if in the language arts class you earn an A, that's worth four points. And, or three points, excuse me, and then if the point system mm -hmm. works from there, B is worth two, um, and so on down the line. And that happens every single quarter, so you earn those total points, and that's where it's most heavily weighted. Um, behavior is, if you have no issues of behavior, you earn the total amount of points there, which is three points also. 
okay. and then for attendance if you have no attendance or tardy issues you earn three points for that so okay. everything is um, highest level of points as if you're meeting all those expectations to the highest level okay. so it's kind of layered there's points mm -hmm. for you know doing better if you have a little slip up it doesn't mean mm -hmm. you're, you're blown no. it there's no. there's room for error in this. Right. right you know in, in various conversations we have had with students and I, I'm going to make reference to uh, a homework club conversation I had with a couple of sixth graders that I was sharing with Maura and the teachers is that for some of our students, the understanding of receiving Fs doesn't really matter to them. Mm -hmm. it, right. It's um, my brothers and sisters perhaps have received Fs and, and that's okay because I'll still move on to mm -hmm. high school or I'll still be part of the promotion ceremony. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to impress upon them that no, that that's not the expectation as being part of yeah. the junior high. Mm -hmm. Uh, student culture is that we want to support you but um, we know you can do better mm -hmm. we know that you have the skills to do better so how do we help encourage you and monitor your help you monitor your own learning mm -hmm. so that F's do not become the norm for some of our students mm -hmm. and we've spent a lot of time in district um, talking about expectations and mm -hmm. I think this is a good example of what we're doing in the district is establishing that we have high expectations yes. for mm -hmm. students. We don't expect them to be perfect all the time because yeah. we are learning and, mm -hmm. and growing and we have a growth mindset. We mm -hmm. want to you know, expect mm -hmm. that Absolutely. there's going to be mistakes, but in that stretching process, we're going to get better. And so mm -hmm. I really love that point that in the junior high now, we want to make sure everyone's real clear that when you get Fs, that's not what we're after, after. and there's, there's going to be some consequences. And mm -hmm. so. Um, you know the points you you're earning along the way um, help us understand what those points what they get to because I know you have some hallmark events when you're an eighth grader that are the big things you look forward to mm -hmm. you sixth and seventh grade you get to watch all these cool things happen mm -hmm. how do I earn points and at what point uh, if I earn enough points do I uh, like get some of these opportunities mm -hmm. well right now wouldn't you agree more that the teachers and the uh, eighth grade students are now taking a look at it's the end of second quarter mm -hmm. so right. they're going to see where they're at exactly mm -hmm. in their points value mm -hmm. from the beginning of the year mm -hmm. um, we we are uh, explaining to the students again about their college tours mm -hmm. uh, and the uh, promotion ceremony which is an honor to participate in mm -hmm. and also the, the planning of the end of the year field trip mm -hmm. so again that's an ongoing process but we keep that in the forefront mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and encourage the students then well how else can we help you make these goals for yourself okay. mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's perfect timing that we're doing this today then because we're mm -hmm. just days away from the end of the second quarter mm -hmm. and those points that you mentioned uh, for an A, three points, mm -hmm. uh, those students out there and those parents yes. uh, checking in on those grades, uh, mm -hmm. that encouragement mm -hmm. to do that could mean I mean, really a tally in your scoreboard mm -hmm. and moving. So again, those things were the college tour. Um, the promotion ceremony, ceremony. and the uh, and the, the annual end of the year end of year trip. Where's the end of the year trip? Uh, Do you need a chaperone? <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> I don't know if I've got enough points. I hope I, I'll have to be good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, at this point, we're working through what that might look like. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. What the trip will be exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. or that's working mm -hmm. with the team. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. And I just want to remind people watching live that if you have a comment uh, that you'd like to submit on there, um, there might be some things that uh, we reply to. So just want to encourage you to do that. We'll get to that in a minute. I'm not sure I'm seeing it properly, so I might need some technical support. But thanks uh, for everyone for their comments. But. Um, I guess I want to ask another um, couple question or two. Um, if I'm hearing this for the first time as a parent, and I, uh, I know that parents sign these mm -hmm. uh, these contracts mm -hmm. at the start of the year, right? That was part that of the arrangement because mm -hmm. this is you know this is new, and so mm -hmm. we want to make sure we're communicating. Mm -hmm. So they sign it and turn it back in. Is that right? Mm -hmm. That's so, correct. So people should yes. know. And I and I'm more almost positive that it was brought up again at uh, October conferences. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and we are also having a uh, January family night. Mm -hmm. I believe it's at the end of January, mm -hmm. to which then we'll go ahead and review this one more time with families. Yes. Great. Absolutely. Well, the one thing that uh, came to mind, uh, and I think everyone in the first time will be like, 
come on, really? Do you really mm -hmm. mean this? And mm -hmm. I, I think that's one of the things that we as administrators sometimes have to deal with is, is when it comes down to it saying, yeah, we, mm -hmm. we really do mean this. Mm -hmm. We're not going mm -hmm. to allow you this opportunity because we, we told you mm -hmm. that this is the consequence. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. that follow through is sometimes challenging. Mm -hmm. um, but let me ask you just directly, do you really mean this? If someone doesn't do. make it, are they not? Yeah, okay. We do. And we really did build the system, um, as you said, with a growth mindset, that we know that kids aren't always perfect, that they're not going to, I wouldn't expect anybody to earn all the points possible, right. um, but that it's it's set up for success mm -hmm. and to also help kids understand the expectations and be held accountable to it. So, yeah. Well, that's, I mean, that's, that's kind of the point, and that's why I love this so much, is the idea that we're raising the expectations before they go to high school, where mm -hmm. those those credits are now graduation credits. They're not just kind of markers in time, a kind right. of idea. They're really, you're earning this credit, and if you fail to earn them, mm -hmm. you're not going to graduate. And I, and, that I, and I also truly believe, we truly believe, too, that it helps us, even as administrators, listen more carefully to conversations among students, you know, uh, having those conversations about grades more mm -hmm. frequently. Mm -hmm. When we work with students in the front office, we'll mm -hmm. often pull up their grades and have those conversations. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think it just heightens the awareness mm -hmm. of the importance of learning. Yeah. And we want to make sure that we, we're giving them all the opportunities that are right. possible and helping them to understand them when you do take that next step to high school. And you know as a former high school principal that um, mm -hmm. that earning credits and getting the grades to be able to earn the credits towards a diploma are so important and helping pave the way for that in junior high we think is really important. So, uh, and there's probably a lot of people out there watching this that have kids at the junior high because we've mm -hmm. publicized this in our um, communications coordinator. Uh, Mr. Clark has put out a lot of information to come watch this. So, so there's probably some people looking around like, how do I know how I'm doing? They want to see the scoreboard mm -hmm. uh, and kind of know and monitor their progress. Mm -hmm. How are we sharing this information? How do students know where they're at? How do they kind of monitor their progress so they can see, okay, I got to make some corrections or no, I'm on track? Mm -hmm. So we do have a point sheet that we've created that kids are going to be working through to okay. tally their points up to this point. Um, and obviously the parents can also access by asking their students about it. And we will push that out in Facebook so they know exactly when that happens so that they can ask them about it. Mm -hmm. And also if they wanted to have a copy of this so we, they could do it themselves with their students, that would be amazing okay. for them to connect that way. So those those sheets and that, I mean, that, that recognition is kind of, it's not just a surprise at the end of the year. They're right. going to know all oh. along the way. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And definitely be heightened this, during that second semester as we get closer and closer. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. let's say there's a student that knows in one of these areas that there's been some problems. Tell us about the supports that exist at the junior high, whether they be academic or attendance or behavioral. Um, if I know my kid's having some trouble in one area, what are the supports that I can rely on? I mean, how do I get a hold of you and say, I'm really concerned about that promotion. I know mm -hmm. grandma's already coming. Uh, we're already <laughs> yeah, playing this. I mean, these, yeah. are, these are big events in the lives of an eighth grader. What are the mm -hmm. supports that kids will need along the way? And I mean, because as we said, we have a growth mindset. We want kids mm -hmm. to expect not to be perfect all the time. So let's say, you know, they're probably having a problem with their math class. Mm -hmm. what, what happens in that situation? Mm -hmm. Well, the first step would obviously to be able to reach out to that teacher specifically to yep. find out what's going on. Mm -hmm. And our teachers are very available via email, phone calls, you know, setting up times during the school day or after school to talk about what's going on. Um, and then we have other supports in place as far as when they're struggling, our homework club, um, our teachers are providing after school support uh, just to help those students along. Okay. So it's not like you're in the ocean without an oar here. You've got, there right. is some help. And I, and I hope parents really uh, feel comfortable enough to reach out to, to the junior high. Mm -hmm. um, we have staff now, bilingual staff, that can mm -hmm. help um, translate and uh, so that they understand the process of how we develop grades for students, mm -hmm. what supports we have. So I do encourage, we encourage parents to please reach out mm -hmm. to the junior high. Mm -hmm. We are more most welcoming to them to come and have conversations with mm -hmm. us because uh, taking an interest in your child's education is only gonna benefit them long-term. Absolutely. So and we're, we're, we're right there to help you, to support you to do that. Mm -hmm.
that's mm -hmm. what we're all about. And mm -hmm. um, there are some comments on the, on there that you're, you're making, and appreciate that. And we'll try to re reply there. Uh, I don't see anything, uh, any questions per se. Our uh, guys are. Uh, does your current grading grade reporting system separate grades from behaviors, where grades represent actual academic work? Oh, okay. That's a good question. And and the grades do rec do um, represent the academic work that is done in the classroom with the teachers. So that's grade specific. The behavior comes more from any kind of minor and major referral that comes to the office and uh, what has to happen there. And if there's any questions about that, calling the junior high office and communicating with our assistant principal, Mr. Edwards, or Mrs. Resec or myself, we're happy to talk through those behaviors and we're always contacting parents when things happen. Like so that. grades are unique entities mm -hmm. to themselves. There's mm -hmm. no, mm -hmm. uh, if I have a bad incident, it doesn't mean my grades necessarily mm -hmm. affected. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing that we want everyone to know and that's true across the district that what we're what grades are intended to measure is learning uh, that's mm -hmm. really what we care most about is mm -hmm. um, there are slip-ups with attendance so uh, you know you just because you had a uh, strep throat doesn't mean that your mm -hmm. grades should be affected uh, mm -hmm. sometimes that happens uh, but not that's mm -hmm. not what we're trying to measure through our grades in any way we want to know what you know and mm -hmm. what you're learning so mm -hmm. that's good and homework you know sometimes homework gets in the way so we try to figure out how to help support that homework right. component mm -hmm. yeah so yeah. that we can maintain those grades. Good plug for the homework club. Yeah. I know Absolutely. that after school there's the junior high uh, homework club. Yes. If, if you're concerned, uh, it's maybe a good place to go, mm -hmm. uh, an environment mm -hmm. for you to go and mm -hmm. get down to it. Uh, mm -hmm. And there's adults there to help. Monday with? through Thursday till 4 o'clock. Okay. And we can and we arrange for a math teacher and, and a, a mm -hmm. bilingual mm -hmm. teacher, someone who speaks Spanish, that are, th that are there to help with Mm -hmm. whatever is and, necessary and, it, and sometimes it's just a quiet place to study sure. and to clarify that's not a place to go drink lattes and no, screw around that's no, a place no. yeah. to get homework so okay right. we want to make sure that environment yeah. is good okay. yeah good yeah good <laughs> were there any other questions mr clark that were okay that looks good well um Again, if you have any other questions or this prompts some ideas, you can always reach the either Maury or Nancy mm -hmm. uh, or Mr. Edwards. Uh, they're always uh, there to help you. And I want to thank you guys. You did great uh, with this. <laughs> thank uh, you. Uh, thank stars you. in the making. I appreciate it. <laughs> and uh, thank everyone who watched this. Uh, again, the community and our engagement with you and learning what's going on and trying to be uh, improve our schools is what we're all about. And uh, we're glad you were here for our very first Facebook Live. Signing off from Harvard District 50.